In this video, I want to show you how to make a quick uh, pull down list in Microsoft Excel. Uh, notice how I have my list of items over here. Uh, now, this could be a list of anything, right? Uh, people's names or places or a list of really anything. And that's going to be the items for my pull down list. Now, by the way, this can be way off to the side. Nobody has to see that. Uh, so I'm going to highlight some cells in column E. And after this next example, all of those cells are going to have a pull down. Uh, that we have selected. So we'll pick on the data menu and we'll pick on data validation right there, data validation. And we'll pick on data validation again. Now you're going to have this window. You come over here on the settings tab and you click uh, where it says allow any value. Now the data validation can actually be used to validate the data. So we can make sure they type in a whole number or a decimal or a date or a time or even data of a certain length. But to make a pull down list, you're going to use the one that's called list. And here it does say in cell drop down. And that's going to be the pull down that we're talking about. So for the source, there's one of two ways you can do this. You can either type them in right here and separate them with a comma. So it might say January, comma, February, comma, March, and so on. Or since the list is already on your screen, I'm going to highlight that list and it goes into this source. Obviously, that's the easy easier way if you have the list already, but otherwise you would type those in and separate them with a comma. In this case, I'll pick on input message. And uh, for the title, this is a prompt that the user is going to see when the, they type in, when they click on one of those cells. So I'm going to say something like, please pick one from the list. Now the error alert is an error message that they're going to get when they land in one of those cells and they type in something different. So I want to say something like, no, try again. So the settings are the range of acceptable values for those cells. The input message, uh, the way to make a, a drop down list is going to be the one that is called list. Notice how it says in cell drop down. And you either type them in over here or separate it by a comma, or you can just highlight that list that's already on your screen. Uh, the input message is a prompt that they're going to get when they land in one of those cells, usually give them some kind of uh, instructions. And the error alert is an error message you can give to them if they typed in something different. This is called data validation under the data menu. I'm going to click on OK. Notice when we click on uh, any cell in you know, that we had selected, there is a pull down. And it says, please pick one from the list. That was the input message. And now there is the list of items. And very quickly, we were able to make a pull down list using data validation in Excel. And then watch what happens if I type something that's not in the list. It says no try again. That's going to be our error message. And it really uh, makes sure that they do pick one that is on the list. So very quickly, we were able to make a drop down here in Microsoft Excel using data validation.